Hey, Russian! Let them call police for them can't stop the crime. Get to you, trouble if it's me. That's why it's so much fun to do. Na 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 na, life's sweet. Na 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 na, life's sweet. Na 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 na, life's sweet. Na 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 na, life's sweet. Hey, get to you, David Dada. Before we look who we the father, the father. I hate seeing the camera without seeing myself. I don't know how I look. <laughs> Let me see. Ya. Woo! Oh, babe, my hair's a mess. Welcome back, people. Welcome back to another day of. If you're not a fucker, right? She might leave in a night, isn't it? <laughs> so, she do the right thing? Or she will then. You're not ugly, babe. <laughs> Small. No better with it. Wow, my Z looks white on camera even more. BD. Ew. It was me singing, babes. Don't you have a cool and second get to think you must not know about me. You must not know about me. Get a man of love corn, watch me come away, so let go. Yeah, nothing I'm a dirty girl with him, I sleep with. Then we began testing them back, Dorado. I'm a waste, Lily. Nobody can blood clot, come for me, coming nice and dainty and cute. Yeah, them ugly in a blood clot, me all tight. I have everybody, me have the 4G, the 3G, the G. The grip, the goo, and the glamour. Nobody can blood clot, come for me, me not stress, trust me, me not fret. Me nice and cute. I look at the man on the money. I had the pan benefits and you're soon dead. That's too bad. No, it's my zinc. Where to go to people? The people are blood clot. We can be careful with the help out in this life. Getting cheated on, being gaslighted, being manipulated. Dealing with a narcissist is not easy. But I'm glad some men get rid of it. I'm glad some take up the tattoo. And then we go. Hello. I'll shame myself before anyone can shame me. I'll, I'll embarrass my blood clots so before anyone can embarrass me. me. I don't make no blood clot no to do. Nobody can shame me. You see, if I shame myself, I can only blame me. But I never take no blame for nobody. Go suck on my dick. Hello. Why wait to the near to cut people off? You need to let them go from now, cause them is not good for you, girl. But now get to next year, feel like got a parasite. Then we'll drain up a good spirit and my good vibes. Murder. Remove. Now we get. Do you know what that's made of? <laughs> Charcoal. Charcoal. Yeah. Very good for your skin. Blood clot, we can be careful with the help in this life. 
Get cheated on, be gaslighted, be manipulated. Deal with a narcissist is not easy. But I'm glad to get rid of it. I'm glad to take up the tattoo. And then we can. Screech you with. No boy can't ramp with me, boy, yes, sir. No boy. In here. No, no boy can't ramp with me, boy, yes, sir. I feel like I had a parasite and we are drawing up a good spirit and my good vibes. Murder. Remove. Now we get. You need to put my shoulder shock. And it can hurt me a fuck down a girl. Stop lying. I swear on that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Miss Our Fabulous Pretty Fun Any Sad and Pretty in a real life. Wait, wait, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for the rush intro, but we have so much to get into. It's been a minute since I've literally told a story time. Something that has gone viral, it has hit the social media. Everybody wants to know what's been going on. Also, just a disclaimer, the fan is on because it's extremely hot. So I'm asking you guys to please see with me. Guys, before I get into this story time, I feel like I owe so many people, so many viewers, so many people an explanation. Not an explanation, but an apology. I feel like regards to me and Dwayne, it's been up and down. It's been confusion. It's been telling social media this and then going back on my word and saying it's a lie and he's innocent all this i'm gonna get down to the nitty 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 gritty and one thing for sure two things for blood class certain there's always receipts it's always something something being said it's very easy to come on social media and talk about me and get retweets get likes get subscribers as long as you're saying my name people are listening to you first of all i'm gonna tell you guys how i met Dwayne. how me and him got together i'm gonna tell you guys every single thing to basically speak about and let me, t let me tell you like this once i drop these videos and once i finish with my story time i will not speak about these two mug rats i will not speak about these individuals when i do a story time that's me closing the chapter and ending it from there and that is it i don't want no one to message me about them i don't want no one to tell me about them these bitches and these people are fucking irrelevant to me i'm the prize and i'm the one that fucking gives them clout so at the end of the day i don't want to hear about nobody that can't do nothing for me my shit in the bud put it out there and leave it there bob's your uncle we move simple so i met duane when i was in america when i was in america he dm'd me Around Christmas day when I was at my auntie Patricia's house and me and her was making Christmas dinner and stuff and I was helping out in the kitchen and stuff, he DM'd me. Then he said, oh, like, did you cook the food? Did you cook the food? And I was like, yeah, like, I cooked, like, anyone that knows, knows I didn't cook Christmas dinner. I just helped my auntie and I cooked some stuff. That's how come we first started speaking around December times, like around Christmas day, basically. Times that we was going back and forth in DMs, we was getting to know each other. We asked for my number. He was from an area in Portmore called Southborough. I'm from Gaza, like, I'm from Waterford. He was like to me, oh, okay, swear down, you're from Portmore. Like, he thought I was lying. First of all, he thought that I was a fake account. He thought that I was pretending to be something that I'm not. So he was like, oh, like, send me videos of yourself. So I sent him videos and pictures of myself. He then asked me to call him so that he could see if I'm the real person behind the, the phone. I sent him a little video of me. In DMs, you can send somebody a little video of you. So I sent him a video of me to show that, yeah, this is actually me. So he was like, oh, like, you're very pretty. Like, did him start speaking? We started speaking on WhatsApp. Let me I wasn't too into him. He was talking to me and stuff like that. I wasn't really like replying to him and stuff. So me and him started speaking on WhatsApp. I wasn't really into him because I stopped replying back to him. I was giving him days of no response. Dealing with something at the time, response to him wasn't 100%. And I don't know, like I wasn't really feeding him at the time. I left the United Kingdom. I went over to America. And when I went to America, me and him started speaking like a bit more now. Like we started speaking more. We was on the phone like every day around seven, eight o'clock in the morning. He would call me and stuff on the road or like in a pathway chilling in the scheme with his friends like he will be talking to me he will go to the nearest person's house and speak to me and stuff and the phone that he had wasn't so good he told me that the phone that he had wasn't in good conditions allow him to do certain things and the screens fucked and all that so i was like okay cool bet just a disclaimer everybody is entitled to tell me how they feel everyone can say Rene, you is a fucking idiot Rene, you wear your heart on your sleeve you fall in love too quick you understand what I'm saying? 
at the time when I met Dwayne, I was going through so much in my personal life. I had to, I got away from the UK because I was dealing with depression. I was dealing with so much stuff mentally in my brain that I wasn't really mentally stable. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was, I was going through so much emotions. I was fighting suicide. I was going through depression. Like I was just in a dark place in my life. You understand? So at the time, I'm seeking love. At the time, I'm seeking comfort. At the time, I'm seeking someone to just be there for me and just comfort me. So when you're vulnerable, people take advantage of you. You understand? But in the moment, you're not really thinking too tough. That rah, like, you know, I'm vulnerable and I'm allowing people to take advantage of me. I'm not deep in that. I'm just seeing it as like, I just need somebody to talk to or someone to be there for me. He was always speaking to me. Like, he would talk to me every single day, an hour before Jamaica. cut in February. He said to me that he wanted me and him to be official. He said to me that he wanted me and him to be together. Now, let's go back to when I was speaking to him. Before I got to Jamaica, I asked him if he had a girlfriend. Anytime I speak to a guy, the first thing I say, or when I meet a guy, I say, do you have a girlfriend? He told me he don't have a girlfriend. He said he's single. a girl in his scheme in Southborough that he was fucking but he's not with her yeah, I'm not in a relationship I'm not with a girl but obviously there's a girl in my area that I fuck from time to time basically so I said oh so there's a girl in Portmore in your area in Southborough that you fuck when you wanna, when you, whenever you wanna fuck and he said yeah I asked him if he loves the girl he said he don't love her he said he's not in love with her he don't love her he just really likes her and he rates her in a way I said okay cool so in my head you're single you don't love the girl but you fuck the girl from time to time when you want your dick wet I understand so we're still speaking or whatever we're still getting to know each other you know in my head that this man is single I asked him who does he live with in Jamaica he said he lives with his mom's sister his auntie's kids so he was on whatsapp call to me and he showed me how the room looked so nice the bed was big he told me that his mom basically shipped the bed from america to jamaica he told me at the time when me and him was getting to know each other that he was deported i asked him what did you get deported for he said he got deported for robbery and star that so i was like okay cool like bet i got to jamaica now bear in mind i already know that he's a single man you know that he got he's a deportee i really know the main stuff he told me that he had a son that he hasn't seen since the son was a baby you know how much he hates his baby mom he can't stand the baby mom he don't chat to the baby mom he told the house that he's living in right now and that's his mom's sister house he told me when he got deported from America to Jamaica, he was staying at his auntie's house in Hull Arbor. He said he was staying there, getting into a fight with his his uncle. And the uncle basically must have done something to him. And them two got into a fight. His auntie told him that he had to leave. And he ended up leaving and he went to go live in Portmore. Um, he said when he got to Portmore, he was renting a fucking house. A big house with bare man them, like with bare group of guys that was all going halves on the rent. Nobody wanted to pay the rent, so he had to end up paying the rent for himself. And he said he couldn't manage paying the rent anymore. So, like, he had to look for an alternative. He had a friend that told him that there was a house in Southborough that's an abandoned house. And the person's gone to Farron to go and live. So he can go in that house and live. Which is the same house that is behind Mika's fucking house in Southborough. Living in that house, and this is how he met Mika, basically. He met Mika because he was living in an abandoned house, basically, that was behind Mika's house. The two started speaking, started fucking, started getting to know each other. And then like he used to always go to Mika's house, he used to always stay over there, he used to always fuck her, whatever, whatever in her yard. But the house that he was living in and paying rent in, Mika said to him, There's no point you living over there, sir, and paying rent when you're always here. You might as well just come move into my house, right? So the people then wanted the house back. then wanted the house back that he was in so the man that gave him the house was like to him look the person's coming back from farming so you have to lift up out of yasa so he ended up going over to Mika's house to live because he had nowhere to live so Mika gave him a roof over the head that is the story that Duane fucking told me fast forwarding now me and him in Jamaica so I came to Jamaica in February and we came to pick them up at the airport in a white axi we got the car I gave him 500 pounds 
for the car for him to rent right like i said to you guys already me and him was speaking up to the day of me arriving into jamaica he said to me babe get a car so i'm able to drive you around in jamaica i know you want to do your youtube videos i know you want to do your vlogs and i know you have to keep recording so you can make your money blah 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 I said, okay, how much is the car? He said, 500 pounds, which is 100 fucking thousand in Jamaica. So I gave him, I sent 500 pounds to Jamaica to rent the Axia, to rent the car for the time that I was going to be in Jamaica. He collected the money. While me and Dwayne are talking on WhatsApp about the car, me and him getting into arguments, he's shy at me, he's being bare rude because I'm not answering back on time and he's telling me, oh, he's, he doesn't have Wi-Fi when he leaves the house and that I need to be replying back on time these times i'm in a restaurant in houston bro i don't have time to keep replying back i sent the money and i sent the receipt go pick it up and do what you have to do and just meet me at the airport like i'm busy trying to eat food I'm like i'm in a restaurant rude boy and you're shy than me cussing me out getting mad because you don't like certain things i'm saying at the end of the day like i've not really done certain things before so if i don't understand certain things why are you batting me up because i don't understand certain things so i said to him i sent the 500 pounds like you can go pick it up and go get the car and pay for the car he started to say oh that car's gone now so i'm gonna have to find another person to get another car so i said okay cool so he ended up finding another man which he knew and he rented an axia which is a white axia he got that car and he rented it from someone and then he picked me up at the airport he picked me up at Norman Manly Airport, right, with his friend. He drove to the Airbnb, which is at Bridgeview. He dropped me there. He was staying with me the whole entire time. For the whole time, the whole month that I was in Jamaica for February, he was staying with me. Dwayne slept with me every single day in February about from one day. One day we had a massive argument and he didn't come back to the Airbnb and I don't know where he was, but he said he was at his auntie's house. Pause. Let me make something very clear before I go any further. I was led to believe that he lived with his auntie, which is his mother's sister, in Southborough. He told me he lives with his auntie, his cousins, and her kids. Not once did I know Duane had a girlfriend. In the beginning of me and Duane speaking, I did not know Duane had a girlfriend. I just want to put it out there. I never knew Dwayne had a girlfriend in the beginning of me and him speaking. The whole month that he stayed with me in Jamaica, I never blood clot nor said Dwayne have girl. Me never knew. Because if I knew he had a girlfriend, I wouldn't brawling put things on my social media platform. I wouldn't put things on my YouTube video like some me fucking delusional bitch. If I was playing a side chick role and I knew that the man had a fucking girlfriend, I will humble my blood clot self and take the man quietly. Because enough girl out there, sir, I take people man quietly. No girl wants to be embarrassed. I, I take people their man proudly and brawling like that. Fuck that, no. You understand what I'm saying? When I met Duane, I never knew he had a girlfriend. That was the first fucking thing I asked him, do you have a fucking girlfriend? He said he don't have no girl. He's single. He asked for things to be official. He said to me, oh, I want you to be my girlfriend. And I said, okay, no problem. Like, I accept it. We shared a kiss and we hug or whatever. This was in the bed when he asked me to be his girlfriend. When I sat in my YouTube video and I told everybody I've known Duane for one fucking year, Duane sat me in the room before I did the video because... I told him I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna mention certain things and he said to me babe tell them that you've known me for a long time don't tell them that you just met me I said why I don't care like I don't give a fuck what the internet has to say about me he said no tell them that we've known each other for a very long time and every time you was coming to Jamaica we've seen each other we, we was friends that's what he fucking told me to say because he said I don't want people to think I'm using you I don't want people to think that I'm using you for sweets and if you don't know what sweets is in Jamaica it means for things like you're using people to get this and that so he said he don't want people to think he's using me for things so he wants me to say oh say you've known me for a long time so they don't question certain things because I've through your social media I've seen the type of person that people make you look like he told me that he's gone through TikTok and, and he saw my name and all this stuff the guy told me so much about myself because the moment we started speaking when we was on the phone Dwayne used to tell me oh like I've gone on TikTok I've seen that people drag you a lot I don't care like he used to tell me like he knows so much about me and he doesn't give a fuck because at the end of the day if he likes somebody he likes somebody so when i'm on youtube um, the video that i did about him and my mom 
and I'm saying to people I've known him for a year, don't feel like set. I just brought in randomly said, oh, I'm going to tell people I've known you for a year. Dwayne, go suck your blood clot, mother, yeah? Go and think you can come on the internet and think you can just blood clot credit me and try and bring me that. I've been through nothing in my blood clot life. I've been through so much stuff. You don't even understand my blood clot resume. So don't come feel like Seth, right? I have any fucking shame. I'm the same bitch that comes on the internet and tell people story times of how I met a fucking guy in Dubai. And I've only known the guy for what? Couple days in Dubai. So what makes you think I give a fuck to tell social media that I've met you for, for a couple of weeks and I started speaking to you? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care what the media has to say about me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I make my mistakes and I bought my blood clot toe a couple times. You told me to tell people I've known you for a very long time. Exactly what he did. Right? I did it to protect you because I know my supporters can see through any blood clot person that I bring around me. And you never wanted them to see or to notice you was using me. Don't play yourself with me, little boy. I'm calling you a little boy because even though you're a big blood clot man, you're a fucking mama man. Before I came to Jamaica, I already told Dwayne that I had BV because when I went when I was in Houston I did a checkup and clap when the lady told me to go lay down in the bed and she pushed a spatula in my pum 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 and she said oh you have BV. I said, what is BV? Because I never knew, really knew about BV. She was like, oh, BV is when you use too much soap, too much, um, per, like, any perfume that's in soaps or any strong, like, soaps and stuff like that. And I know when I was in America, someone gave me a soap to use that was very, very strong. And I used it to wash myself and wash my pom pom. And from that, the soap didn't agree with me downstairs because I'm a very sensitive person so I realized that yo I need to go get a checkup because I'm not really liking the way I'm feeling down there and I know the last person I fucked was in England in December times right and I've done a checkup I've done my checkup the lady there on the spot told me I had BV and she gave me she gave me a tablet and she said take one each and um, take one every single day for seven days and do not have sex and drink any alcohol couple days later I ended up in Jamaica and when I went to Tabu on the night when I was wearing my, when I was wearing a green fucking dress, I took a, a picture in the Tabu bar from my, my Instagram. When I went to Tabu that night, I ended up drinking alcohol. Completely forgot about when you had BV, you can't be doing rare, rare, rare. That same night, the boy bent me over in blood club backers. Something that I suffered for one blood club whole year. And to him, babe, I can't because remember, I'm on medication. He said, Ren, you already, you already drank, so it doesn't count no more. You're going to have to do it again. I mean, you wanted to fuck me. Come downplay my fucking thing. When your cocky went into me, went into me, it wasn't much movement. You, you was the same fucking guy that turned around and said, Ren, oh babe, I can, I think you're BV, I can smell it. I said, okay, no problem. You, you came off, you went to wash off your dick. I went to go bathe and wash out my front with water. The next fucking day, I picked up myself and I went to the pharmacist, right? And as you can see, I went to the doctor. It was in one of my vlogs where I'm wearing a little nude dress. I went to the pharmacy, got my medication and I started my blood clot treatment again. It's not STI. I never gave no blood clot man chlamydia or no germs. I have my blood clot receipts, okay? And here, right here. you can see my lab results that I never come to Jamaica with no blood clot infection other than BV such girl when they come on the internet and laugh at me such blood clot girl when they come on the internet and think they can shame me and said oh Rene this Rene pussy this Stephanie you want to come on social media and cuss me out and, and, and come diss up me and tell me oh, how much my pussy stink Stephanie the only thing I have to say for you was don't forget that you had BV too forget that you had BV and you had to take more than blood clot seven tablets I had to take seven tablets for one week 
You took more than one blood clot, seven tablets. Bitch. So don't come on the internet and think you can come shame me because I call BV. Baby girl, let me tell you something. Never laugh off our blood clot next girl when you know you had the same fucking thing, right? Because let's not forget you're the same one that sent me your results, right? Negative for everything, but you had BV, right? Here's your results, Stephanie. Clark, bro, to sit here and tell everybody I had BV and what? Who the fuck is gonna do nine? None of you lot can do nine because enough of you girls, them, have HIV. Enough of you blood clot girls are suffering in bed with your chlamydia blood clot pussy and you don't wanna come laugh at me because I had BV. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, I had BV and what? I'm treated. I don't have shit. Done my test, done what I needed to do, I'm good over here baby girl, don't worry about it over here sweetheart. Every single time somebody has something to say about me, use the same fucking bitch that always has something to, to say. Every time a bitch is um, arguing me on the internet, you join in. Every single time I have a new fucking bitch hating on my ass, you, you, you team up with every bitch that don't fucking like me. Stephanie, please, please train. You don't have a leg to stand on. Fight me because you want to fight me. Fight me because you don't like me. But all my fucking haters, they're stronger together than one. No female in this world can ever find me by themselves. You have to team up with a group of blood club bitches to bring me down. And even though you team, you team up with every fucking bitch that don't like me now, I'm still sending 10 blood club toes up. And none of you lot can bring me down. Not Mika, not Chopper Blood Club Wayne, and not you one. None of you lot can bring me down. And whoever want to come in the media and talk about me, talk about me because I don't business, I don't give a fuck and I do not care. We go to your grill. Me and doing is good. Guys, let me sit here and tell you like this. When I met this man, I was aware he had no money. When I met this man, I was aware he doesn't have a job. This man told me he had investments overseas in America where he got deported from. He told me that his brother owns a restaurant in Miami, you understand? And he's a part of the ownership with that restaurant. He said before he got deported in America, he was living good. He was driving a range. He told me that he owns a business out there. He sells clothing with his brothers out there. Even though he's been deported, he's still involved in the businesses. I said, okay, cool, so how comes you don't have no money? He said, right now, things are a bit hard for me, things are a bit slow. Dwayne sent me every single video of him holding money, holding this, holding that. And you know what Dwayne told me? Those was his business money. He told me that his brother would send half of his money through Western Union and some on Cash App. You understand what I'm saying? So if Dwayne has painted a picture to me like that, why wouldn't I not believe? Fucking brothers, his mum's got five boys, I think he is. I thought he had money. I thought he was up. I thought he was a baller. I thought he was a big baller, big spender. Because what? I saw videos. I saw him counting racks of money. Flinging out racks of money out of LV um, fucking coat. LV fucking bag. Yeah, I saw everything. You understand what I'm saying? I was led to believe something. I'm not going to sit here and say, Rene, you wasn't manipulated. Everybody needs to clap for him. Dwayne, you deserve a fucking Oscar. He studied me. You preed me. And when we was talking in America, you studied me. You the same person that told me you know everything about me because you know everything I've been through on the media. You've seen everybody that talks about me in the media. You've seen everything, Dwayne. You knew everything that I've been through. I was the same person that would cry on your shoulder because of things that I was going through on social media. And you was the same person comforting me. You was the same person that gave me a shoulder to cry on when I had to deal with another person coming on the internet talking about me. Me and Duane was good. The whole of February, me and Duane was good. The whole of February, me and Duane never had no arguments like that apart from two arguments, right? So I had a friend called Stephanie. Never met Stephanie a day in my fucking life, right? And we had like a little friendship on the internet. You understand? We used to speak to each, with each other every fucking single day, ever, whatever. Now, Stephanie comes around the house now. Dwayne don't want me to be friends with Stephanie. Dwayne telling me that Stephanie's a, a, a car scene or some, some fucking name where people in Jamaica call a car scene when they don't rate you or whatever. So he used to tell me like, oh, 
I don't like your friend because your friend's trying to make you do this or your friend's trying to make you do that. So me and Dwayne had a massive argument one time now and Dwayne comes back now and Dwayne says to me, how are you getting to Spanish Town? We're going to take a taxi to go to Spanish Town because Stephanie's from Spanish Town, Central Village. So I said, we're going to take a taxi. He said, are you sure you don't want me to drop you before I go to the mechanic with the car? Because something was wrong with the car that we rented and he wanted to go to the mechanic to fix the problem. He said, are you sure you don't want me to drop you to Spanish Town? Before I go to the mechanic, I said, nah, it's okay, like, we're gonna go and get a taxi. He got ready and he left and he went to the mechanic shop. He, you see, when I went downstairs to meet Stephanie, she was texting her friend. She must have asked her friend, oh, can you pick up me and my friend, blah, 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 which is a boy, right? So, when I heard her say that, I said, let me text Dwayne and tell Dwayne that her friend might come pick us up. Because if you know Jamaica man, if you tell him, say, at this you do and you're going to do something else, a big problem. So I'm going to text the way and I'm going to say, do we Stephanie's asking one of her friends to come pick us up, so we might, I might end up going in the friend's car. Dwayne got mad. Dwayne got angry. Dwayne pulled up to the house. Dwayne started cussing. Dwayne started cussing me, saying, you take me a blood clot, idiot. Me tell us, me tell us, so your friend is going to be the reason why me and you don't work out. Your friend don't have no respect. She knows you're in a relationship. She's getting mad to come pick you up. I said it's her friend, big like it's not someone that she's talking to, it's not someone she's fucking, it's just a friend. The guy started getting angry. They told you that when Dwayne's angry, Dwayne's angry and Dwayne's mad, very fucking scary. Stephanie comes upstairs and Stephanie's like, Renee, you're good? Renee, you're good? She said, Why am I going so far? Why am I going so far? Dwayne's getting mad saying, I oh, what she said? And what she said, hey, girl, tell her for shot up her mother now. What she said, so Dwayne's getting rid of I'm like, oh, don't talk to her like that. Like, calm down. So I'm pushing him because he's trying to come outside to go to the step. So I'm pushing him and I'm pushing him. I'm like, chill, like, calm down. Like, you're doing too much. Calm down. Like, he's on 10 right now. Like, he wants to go downstairs and lick off Stephanie's head. And I'm trying to push him back. And I'm like, chill, like, you're not going to touch my friend. You're not going to touch my friend. I'm like, calm down. Like, you're doing too much. Like, he starts packing up his clothes, packing up his stuff, putting all his stuff in the bag. Saying that he's done, he can't take this no more, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, cool, like, I ain't got time for this. Like, do what you want to do. So I let him leave. He left. He went to the mechanic shop back. He calls me. He starts posting stuff on Instagram. Stephanie starts to send me stuff that what he's posting. So I'm like, okay, cool, like, if you want to be a pussy, be a pussy. You I'm saying because I can post stuff as well but I know if I post things that mean I'm getting into it social media is going to be a problem again so I said you know what let me just be my depressing self let me go listen to some rod wave let my fucking emotions out and then two hours later we be cool again two hours later he shows up at the house you no know, he texts me and Stephanie texts me and he's outside I said okay cool he come he texts me and he's like oh come outside I want to talk to you so I go downstairs I go in the car and we're talking I'm st I'm sitting there like this I have nothing to say to the guy because one you're, 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 you're acting too crazy we're in the car and he's doing all the talking he's like oh I'm sorry I'm sorry like I don't mean to shout at you I'm just angry I don't want to lose you I don't want to lose you because I really have strong feelings for you he's like I don't want to lose you because I've been around female females like her they know their friends in a relationship and they're always trying to make their friend be around other man I was like he's like look I'm sorry like can we just be can we be good again so I said Dwayne like I just need some space like I need some time to think because I don't think you understand one you showed me how scared you can make me feel by the way you were so angry I've been through that in my last I ain't going through that again he put on social media that my pussy stink right let me blood clout say something to every single person right now I've had man yam out my pussy clout front and I'm saying it brawling My pussy don't stink unless I have a blood clot infection and I'm pretty sure that every single person that's watching this video Somebody's must had something. I never had no STI. I never had chlamydia Gonorrhea syphilis or syphilis. I had B fucking V And BV is an infection where if you wear tight clothes and you wear a certain type of panty and you wash your vagina with so much soap. I've said it broad on the internet that I 
had BV. I'm not ashamed, baby girls, because we're women. We're females at the end of the day. What the fuck should I be the shame of? It's not a transmitted infection. It's not afraid that I've had it. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know enough girls, enough people that I know, enough women, even men get BV. Before I got to Jamaica, I did my I did my my checkup because when I left England, I fucked one of my ex friends because I needed to get my dose because I'm not going to go to America and fuck up my hole. I don't sell pussy. I don't fuck for money. I'm not that type of female. You understand what I'm saying? So when I came to Jamaica, I had already done my checkup because I've done that shit in Houston. And I came and I said to Dwayne, I know I'm clean. I know I got my checkup. And I said to Dwayne, before I left America, they gave me antibiotics to take for seven days. The week before I came to Jamaica, I was on antibiotics for my BV. I was taking it. You can Google it. It's simple maths and education. You understand? So to the girls them that want to bun me out and laugh at me because such man went on the internet and said, oh, Renee had BV, her pussy stink. Tell me which blood clot girl never had BV. My pussy don't stink on a daily blood clot basis because I'm a blood clot clean girl. And like I said, unless I have fresh yeast infection or BV, my pussy will stink. And that is that. That's why there's something called antibiotics. I took the antibiotics for seven days. I was on it for six days. They said don't drink. I went taboo with him, Stephanie, and his other friend. And I end up drinking fucking Magnum. When I <laughs> he wanted pussy and I turned around and I said to him I cannot have sex with you because I am on antibiotics he said Ren you just drank magnum um, rum cream it's cancelled now and at the end of the day like I said I knew this man was low when I met him when I met him he told me from the get-go when I send the money for the car for him to rent the car for me he said to me babe I'm gonna tell you from now I don't have money right now I'm going through some stuff I'm trying to sort out some stuff I'm low I'm not gonna have money I said it's okay like don't worry about it like I'm I will have you in it do you know what I'm saying came to Jamaica every time do I wanted weed I paid for it every time he wanted taxi to go anywhere I paid for it to God who made me father God crucify me if I'm lying do I never took out money and bought me a fucking drink and I'm not sitting here and acting like it's something to be proud of because ladies know your worth you understand what I'm saying he never took out a hundred blood clot dollar to buy me a fucking water or two hundred dollar everything I paid for and it was never an issue to me because I came with Jamaica with my money and my blood clot things you understand what I'm saying so people can talk and say what they want to talk and if at the end of the day I have nothing to be ashamed of I would talk the things that myself Dwayne never had a penny never had money to buy food Every time I bought, I bought food, I bought food for me and him. And if his friends was around me, I bought food for them. Every, every single time that Dwayne spent with me in that Airbnb in Bridgeview, Almond Drive. It was my blood clot money spending. Guess what? I was the same person that came on social media to make him look good. Because he told me how much he don't want people to think that he's using me. So I told people, oh, Dwayne bought this. Dwayne buy that, my man have money, my man have this. I'm trying to defend your blood clot image because I know how my supporters get down. I know from time my supporters see me do too much for a man, they're quick to talk up the blood clot things there. At the end of the fucking day, Dwayne, you know and I know you never had a penny. Dwayne couldn't buy me nothing useless as a man because he can't do nothing for me because I've been spending Negril I paid for it Negril Ochi anywhere you lot saw me go in Jamaica or more are you not hearing me I despair 
and it was never an issue. I was protecting his fucking image. Even when I know he was black, I was blood clot protecting his image. Even though I knew I never knew a blood clot nigga for one whole fucking year, I was protecting his blood clot image. I listened to Dwayne when he said to me, oh, I don't want people to think I'm using you. So tell, say this, say that. I said I've known you for a year. Go suck your blood clot, mother. Oh, I've dealt with bigger blood clot people than you. I've dealt with people that stab me my blood clot leg with a knife. You ain't nothing bigger than me, Dwayne. Try a blood clot, know that. Eh? Me and Dwayne, everything's good, guys. Minimal good. After look at a piece of argument we had in the house, we're good. You understand what I'm saying? This is where things start to go downhill. I said, I said, you know what? I wanted to move to Jamaica one time, but I ended up moving to America. He said, no, nah, like, I want you to live here. Like, I want us to live together. I want us to have a kid. I want us to have all these things. Check the stats. I swear to my phone. Dwayne had my pin. Dwayne had everything. He knew the password to get into my phone. I knew the password to get into his phone. I used to go in Dwayne's phone just for the fun of it because he wanted me to trust him. I never knew about no blood clot Mika. I never knew he was in a relationship the whole time I was in Jamaica for the whole fucking month. I never knew Dwayne was in no fucking relationship. Yet. Until somebody messaged me on Instagram of a fake account and said to me, Rene, you know what say? Do we live in a salt bar with him girl Mika? Our mother precious, our brother, and our sister or some other people in the house. I said, huh? I said, really? That's a farty. Never paid it attention. Ignored the sign. That was the first red fucking flag. And I ignored it like some big blood clot idiots. Anyhow, I meant that over there. I wouldn't have been in the situation I end up in. That's why I said I bought my toe too many blood clot times. Dwayne dropped a song, Frustration. He dropped a song, Frustration. And he said to me, Babe, can you pay for this advert? I said, How do you do that? I said, How much you want it to be? He said, can you pay for it? I paid £150 for Blood Clark YouTube AdSense. £150 for his advert to last him for the week. Give him one week of promotion on his song Frustration. You understand what I'm saying? That's why it reached the amount of views it reached. He's not a fucking artist. All oh, that Blood Clark Jamaica know about you, big Blood Clark mama man. I spent my money and paid for your music to reach fucking views and everything I done for Dwayne was from the goodness of my fucking heart and I'm not gonna sit here and say to the people I never fell in love with that man regardless if I fell in love with him for seven business blood clot days leave me alone I fell in love with him all I can do is manage this heart that God gave me I fell in love with him so quickly that I just wanted to see him win I just wanted to see him blossom. I wanted to see him be the king that he can fucking be. I wanted what was good for him, but did nothing but worse. Bad man shit for me to show you how mankind blood clot wicked. You asked me to pay for your music video. So if such blood clot gal have money, why she can't pay for your music video? Why she can't pay for promotion deals? I paid for promo on YouTube to promote your song because I never bad mind you. I actually genuinely cared about you. I promote his song. I paid £150 through um, Google AdSense, right? To promote his song. The next song dropped, right? I had to pay for that, but it wasn't going through. They, they suspended his AdSense because they said it was fraud or using somebody's card or whatever, whatever. And I said to them to email them because it was my shit that he was using. He said, oh, no, there's no point. He will just make a new one. I said, okay, cool, no problem. Let me tell you lot this. Like I told you lot already, when I met this man, he never had a dime to his blood clot name. Not even water he could buy me. And yes, as a woman, it, it, it sounds fucked up to know this is the life you settle for, Renee. You're only your pretty blood clot girl. You have your things. You're independent. You need to look for a man that is going to spoil you. Guys, you've told me all of this before. Some of you that must be ashamed, must be looking at me, sad, upset at me. Renee, why, Renee? My mom says the same blood clot thing, but guess what people, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just a broken fucking girl that needs to work on herself before she seeks validation in men, before she seeks love. I know that. Because it fucked me up, it broke me, and it hurt me to know I put everything in that man. And I truly fucking loved him. To think that I wanted so good for a person 
that knew all along he was never real. That knew all along he, he was only in it to scam me out of money and thousands. What's up, so moving on. A day before the grill, and he said to me, do I want, do, do I want a guy called Darkie to come? I said, we're going to call this guy Darkie. He asked me, do I want his friend to come? I said, I don't mind. Like, if you want your friend to come to grill, it's okay. Like, I wanted me and him to just to go to the grill. But he wanted his friends to come to the grill. I said, okay, whatever, Dwayne, I don't mind. So, he said, Darkie don't have no clothes to wear. He said, Darkie don't have this. Darkie don't have no money. Darkie's broke, so he's got to give him money. He's got to help him. So, he said to me, when I go to the grill, don't spend money on everyone. Don't buy everyone food. Don't do this. Never gonna sit on a table with four people and nobody have money and I have money and eat by myself. I'm gonna make sure everybody fucking eats. That's how I am. Anyone that knows me knows my heart. I don't have to tell you lot that I'm ready. From before we even got to the grill, you're telling me make sure such people don't use me. Rare, rare, big blood clot, dirty boy. You've been using me, but you're telling me you, I shouldn't let people use me. You just wait to suck my blood clot dry. We get to the grill now. He takes me to the side, we get the car, he parks with the car, he takes me to the side, everybody's gone in. He's telling me, oh, if, if Darkie's ordering any food, um, make sure you let me know. Don't make him take you for an idiot, don't make him order too much stuff. Open up your mouth and speak, because I know how you are, Mene, you let people walk all over you, whatever. I said, okay, cool, when we get there, when we got to the grill, I paid for everything. I paid for his meal. He ordered a big blood clot lobster that cost the most on the table. The same guy that he's telling me not to pay for is his, his closest friend. The same fucking guy he's telling me not to pay for is his closest friend. He's with the guy every fucking day. And every day the guy come over to the house and you're bad minding the guy low key behind the guy's back. Left the grill now, we go back home. Everything's cool. Me and Dwayne's good. Me and, me and Dwayne's good, 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 good. Oh, I swear to the phone. I gave Dwayne my iPhone 13 Pro Max Blue. You understand what I'm saying? When I met Dwayne, Dwayne had a banger blood clot mashup phone. Couldn't do much with. You understand what I'm saying? I gave him my 13 Pro Max. You understand? You know me, it's not an issue, it won't be the first time I gave out a phone, it won't be the second or the third fucking time I gave someone a phone in Jamaica. I gave Dwayne a fucking phone, you know. He used to leave me every fucking day and go over to the South Borough. And he used to go over to the South Borough and he would come back within the next hour or whatever. He told me, oh babe, I'm going to go get more clothes. Every time he went to South Borough, he came back with his rack sack full of fucking clothes. You understand? And you're going to tell me. That bitch never knew about me. She been knowing about me. This is, you knew about me. You been knowing about me. You understand? Because I know everything. You used to put up quotes up on your little WhatsApp status about such girl like me. You used to put your little indirects on your little WhatsApp status. You been knowing about me. Every single time. Right? Duane used to get a phone call from a lady called Precious, who is Mika's fucking mum. You want to sit there and say, oh, your mum's a Christian. Your mum, your mum's so church holy. And he, your mum, and praise God. Do you know how much people that sin every fucking day praise Jesus? Baby girl, you can praise God every day and be, and be a killer and be a sinner. That don't mean shit. That don't even change the character of you because you praise God. Every single time Precious called Duane's phone, Duane would be like, Auntie Precious is calling me and pick up the phone. Remember, Dwayne told me Precious is his mum's sister, who is his, who is Mika's mother. You understand? When I was doing YouTube videos, when I was posting up my vlogs, 
people in Jamaica started to recognize him. People in South Bar started to recognize him. And people started messaging me on Instagram. Gossip Bops. Dwayne's downstairs with his two friends. They're watching music, listening to music, whatever, whatever. I'm upstairs now. I call, it's because I call two people here. One next to Bridgeport and the one next to, um, in the middle, closer to Newland. But he lives next to him. And I remember him because I see him all the time. So that's why I said, when I seen him on your video, because I watch you all the time, but then I seen him, I said, what are they? I said, I know that boy, there, I know his face. And I said, let me go double check. So I called two people and asked them, you know, no, he still do want the scheme or whatever, because I don't see him no more or whatever. You know what I mean? I haven't seen him in a while or something, because there was a war going on or whatever. And I said, yeah, he still want there with him girlfriend. He still live there, and he's around and stuff like that. And that's today. Just now I can't bring him. Honestly, we need to tell us how to make him bring around there or whatever, because the girl that was so bad, they were like young girl. So that wouldn't even be the safest thing to do. But as I said... I call two people I know that knows him personally. And they say, yeah, I'm still living up there with him girlfriend and them something. And I say, you sure you still want to do with the girl? And I say, yeah, man, I'm there with the girl. I'm still living for a long time or whatever. And that's what they said. If they're not together, I don't know, but I'm just letting you know that is what's said.